Welcome everyone, I'm Joe DeLongware and in today's video I have a really cool project I've been wanting to do for a while now. So let's get started. So in today's video what we're actually going to do is we're going to take these silicone molds right here and we're going to do epoxy resin casting of my grass. So the way I came up with this idea was is when I went to go do the Tuckahoe Turf Farm uh, earlier in this year, I went and obviously got the opportunity to go on the Eagles field. They were getting ready just to cut up that Bermuda grass that they were going to throw down and refill the lawn, uh, the lawn, the stadium at Lincoln Financial Field, go birds. And people were asking me, Joe, did you get a piece of the Bermuda grass? And I told them, no, I just didn't, I didn't have a really good idea how to preserve it or make it last because it was going to definitely dry out and probably brown up and die and so I just didn't have a really great idea at the time so what I got to thinking was I seen a lot of stuff online as you guys know I'm a DIYer I love doing different kind of craft projects I do a lot of wood making projects on my DIY channel and I got to thinking maybe I could do epoxy I've seen people online do it on YouTube on Instagram Pinterest you know do epoxy resins with like flowers and roses and preserve that kind of stuff so I got to thinking why don't I give it a try with my grass right here the Mountain Dew seed that I threw down from my overseed and see how it turns out so what I got here is that I got a two by two cube right here we're gonna use this as uh, first then I have it's this is like a coaster mold right here I believe it's uh, four inches by four inches wide. Um, and what we're gonna do is, is I got a couple pieces over here of grass that I pulled out. It has dried for a couple days now. Um, there's one piece that I did just pull out today. It's a little bit wet. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it yet. It depends on how these come out. Um, so I've never done this before. I am not an expert. So it's really just gonna be a little bit of an experiment. I got my epoxy, my resin here, my hardener here. Um, I got a little a cup right here that I got from Home Depot to mix it all together. Uh, I just got all these supplies right here, the, the mold and the resin right on Amazon. Uh, came to my house, obviously. Uh, so we're going to give this a try. We'll see how it turns out. Apparently, the cure time on this stuff is about between 24 and 48 hours. So we'll see what happens. So obviously what we have here is, is we have the resin here and then we have the hardener here. It's very easy to mix. It's equal parts, one to one, so very easy to do. Then obviously I have my silicone mold right here. Like I was saying, I believe this is a four by four inch coaster mold. And then this one is a two by two cube mold. I just have an old piece of wood right here. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna grab my bucket I'm gonna put some gloves on my hand and then I'm gonna pour equal parts into the bucket right here, mix up the solution first, and then we're gonna pour it into the molds right here. So the first thing that, that the instructions say on the back is to stir each part, then you stir them together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first pour the resin part into a cup right here that I just got at Home Depot. So I know that I need about a little bit, about five ounces for each one. So what I'm gonna do is put five ounces into here. So I have both of these stirred now pretty well. It actually is a lot easier to stir the hardener part than the epoxy part. Um, which kind of makes sense because the hardener is more it's like more of an additive just to make this part over here stronger so what I'm going to do next is I got my bigger cup right here we're going to pour everything out into here first So I have two, both mixtures in here, here now. You can't really tell, but it is definitely cloudy. Um, and that's from what I've read online, what I've seen, uh, when you mix the two together, it will get cloudy. And then what you're gonna do is, is you're gonna basically just stir this from what I've seen. And basically you just keep stirring this until it becomes clear. There are gonna be some bubbles in there. So what you gotta do is sometimes you're supposed to let it sit. You're supposed, you could warm it things like that but for since it's my first go around I'm just gonna stir this up until I can get it clear and then we're gonna pour it out 
All right, so I've been stirring for probably about five minutes about right now. And what I'm gonna do next is, is I'm gonna take my molds, make sure they're in the center, center of my board. I have my pieces of grass that I'm going to put in here. The first one, I'm gonna try and put it like a little bit of, of an, on an angle and push it down in there. Like I said, I'm not 100% sure how this is gonna turn out. But what's pretty cool is you can see some of the roots. Um, it's still very green, which is pretty cool. Um, so that's what we're gonna do for this one. And first, what I think I'm gonna do at first is I'm gonna do this one first. So let's take this, pour it out in here. Now epoxy, it's supposed to be almost like a self leveler. So what I'm hoping is I can spread this out enough. And what I'm doing is I'm trying to pour it on top of the grass so it kind of sticks down a little bit too. I think that's pretty good. Now, what I want to do is, is there are some surface bubbles up here. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to just lightly take my torch back here and just lightly go over it and take a couple of those surface bubbles off. So this next part, I'm not 100% sure how it's going to go because this is a little bit wet. What happened was, is I had these other pieces over here and they're just like very, they're very dry, very limp. And this other core that I put out, it's very, you could just see it, it kind of withered away. And I wanted something that's a little bit more greener. It obviously hasn't dried out completely yet. So what I'm going to try is I'm going to put this in there straight down like this. So obviously this would be the bottom. And we're going to just try pouring it right on top and seeing what happens. So here's a close up now, just to give you guys an idea of after everything has been poured out. And here is the cube. Like I said, this torch right here was really key to get any of these top surface bubbles on here. But I, it's best I could do. There's definitely gonna be little micro bubbles in there. Can't really see from here, but there's definitely gonna be micro bubbles down there. So as you can see, this is definitely not the easiest project that I've ever done. It's definitely difficult. Uh, it's a lot harder than it looks online. And, and you know, you watch, you know, I know how I am. I watch YouTube videos all the time and you think it's really easy, but it's actually a lot harder than it looks. Um, so what we're going to do, come back 24 hours. Hopefully we can pop these out of the mold. I know there's going to be micro bubbles in there throughout. I, the torch definitely came in handy for any of the top surface bubbles, but nothing I can do. Like I said, I'm a beginner when it comes to this. Just wanted to get an idea of what it's gonna look like and then we can go from there. So I'll see you guys in 24 hours. So we are back. It is 24 hours since we did our resin pour. So what I'm gonna do now is I got them right here in their mold still, both the cube and the coaster one right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna peel them out so we can see what they look like. So here we go. This is the coaster one and looks like it peels out pretty easy. And wow, look at that. That is pretty cool so there are definitely some air bubbles and it looks like it's mostly from the tips of the blades of the grass hopefully you guys can see that which I, I could understand why but it's smooth on the bottom which is cool um, what I really love about this with the coaster is seeing those roots right there like that that's pretty cool so that's the coaster let's open up the cube So here we go, here's the, the cube. Now this one is gonna be a little bit of a pain because of it did spill over the edge a little bit. And what happened was, is after I let this sit for a little while, the air bubbles started to rise to the top. Um, and you could see here at the top. And I tried, it was too late, I couldn't really get them out. When I went back, I noticed this. So I'm gonna try my best to get this out of here.
Almost. There we go. Oh. Yeah. This one did not come out good. <laughs> oh, you guys can see there. Those air bubbles right there in the middle are just really bad. Well, like I said, this was an experiment. Didn't know how it was going to turn out. I mean, it looks, it still looks pretty cool, I think. Um, yeah, those air bubbles in the middle there, they are bad. But nothing I can do. I can always trim this around the edge here because as, as you can see, it definitely over, you know, overdid the uh, mold right there. Um, I don't, don't know what I could do, do have done differently. I mean, it was wet the material that was going in there it wasn't dried out like it was in the coaster here this was pretty much dried out at that point when i got it in the coaster so here it just i don't know yeah a little disappointed i'm a little disappointed with this i still think it's, it does still look pretty cool though well there you have it that's my epoxy resin casting molds on my grass my mountain view sea grass Obviously, it didn't turn out the way I wanted, especially with the cube. This one, though, the coaster, I'm extremely happy with this. It's, it came out really nice. Um, I think this makes a great gift for a grass lover if you're interested or if you want to preserve your grass, like kind of how I did. I mean, I'm very proud of what I did and accomplished this past season, the 2021 season with the Mountain View Seed. So this is really cool to hold on to. Like you can see the roots, it's awesome. I have another idea for another coaster that I wanna do. I have some Mountain View Seed left over and I kinda of wanna maybe sprinkle it into the coaster and mix in some of the grass. I think that would be pretty cool to do. But what I want everyone to do is, is I want you to go on Instagram, find me on Instagram. I'll leave it linked in the video description. It's the.longwarrior. What I wanna do is I wanna keep posting pictures of these throughout the year and see how well they hold up. I'm go definitely gonna keep holding on to the cube one here because sometimes what happens to resin and from what I've seen online is that it can get like a yellowing effect, but this resin's not supposed to do that. But I'm just curious to see how well it holds up throughout the the, uh, the, the rest of the year and I'll possibly probably do this at the end of next year as well. And I think this is a cool project, guys. I think if you're, you're really into your grass, you want something like, uh, this would be great for a desktop or you know, just to display up on a shelf, you know, anything like that. I think this is really cool idea. It's honestly, it wasn't that expensive. I only got eight ounce bottles because I, I, this is my first time ever doing resin. I think everything costs under 40 bucks. So again, they were only eight ounce bottles. I got it right on Amazon. I'll leave it linked in the video description below to the links that I got the stuff from. They won't be affiliate links or anything. I just want you guys to go check it out if you're interested. It's a really cool, neat project. If you have kids at home, it's something cool to do. You can use resin for a bunch of different things. I've seen so many videos out there. You know, resin is the big thing right now in the craft world. Um, but, you know, just so you guys know, craft projects in general, they don't always come out the way you expect. I've done a ton of wood signs in my past where my stencils, sometimes they'll bleed and the paint gets under it and I gotta go fix it with a small paintbrush. So I'm used to having craft projects not always come out the way you expect, but you live and you learn, you just improve on to your next thing. You always have to trust the process and go on to the next step and just improve on what you did in the past. So if you've enjoyed today's video or if you found today's video helpful, make sure you smash that like button. It really does help out with the channel. It helps people find the videos on my channel. And if you have any questions or concerns on today's video, make sure you leave it in the comment section below. And like always guys, I'll see you in the next one.